What is going on, you guys? Miss the party here back again, and, and I'm here with a special guest, Sean Deniger. Sean played Spider Man in the latest Marvel's What If audio drama on the channel. Sean is also starring in the upcoming project like Avengers 2000 and the long awaited Marvel Zombies Revenge as Spider Man himself. Sean also is working on his own Spider Man project called Web of Spider Man. Would you like to briefly explain what all that's about? And and welcome, Sean. Welcome to uh, the Miss the Part channel. And, you know, I, I can't say enough. It's been fantastic working with you so far. It's been fantastic. All right. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, my name is Sean. Uh, like Max said, I'm a voice actor, writer, and director. And it's been so fun to work with Max on uh, these various projects like... Um, like Tobey Maguire, what if he was an Endgame, and obviously Avengers 2000 and Marvel Zombies Revenge. So it's an honor to be here. Yeah, um, Web of Spider-Man is uh, this really awesome project that I'm working on. Um, it's a seven-episode live-action miniseries about Spider-Man um, that is just super fun. Um, it's like a character drama. We're going to have a lot of ups and downs in it, and uh, I think we're aiming to release it sometime uh, by the end of this year or next year. Um, so it's going to be really, really fun. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to be here and uh, talk all the stuff with Max. I, I I am so hyped to see when you come out with this. Like, I, I saw it on Instagram and I was like, what is this all about? So I'm, I'm hyped. I can't wait to see what's going to happen here. And Sean did a fantastic job on that audio drama. Like a lot of people... Did you see the responses? Yeah, it was it was actually really it was actually really interesting. I was um I was in Santa Barbara when when uh, oh. you when you dropped it and I remember I woke up that morning and it um and it came out and I remember just immediately rushing to the comment section and um the response was um super mind blowing. I just I loved seeing everybody's comments and saying that I did a good job and like everybody the whole cast did a great job and I was so I was so humbled by it and it was just like the coolest experience just be like oh my gosh people people have watched this and people really liked it and it was just the best feeling and i can't wait for you guys to see what uh what we do with avengers 2000 and um and marvel zombies max has got some crazy stuff up his sleeve it's gonna be great oh marvel zombies revenge that that's been in development for i would say over a year Absolutely, now like yeah. it like the shots are done did did I send you all the rest of the shots? Have you seen them? Um, I think I've seen like ninety percent of them. Um, but yeah, guys, from what from what I've seen, Max has sent me over the past year just all of the crazy, crazy, crazy shots that literally looked like a living comic book. It was I was my mind was just blown by seeing some of these awesome images and the stuff that they've shown you in the teasers is only like it's a little just fraction of what's to come. It just literally stuff just popping off the screen popping off the page it, 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 it i mean it's it's a real comic book quality level it's, stuff oh yeah ed tadio he can really do some good work oh, that absolutely. guy when when we got him to do it and i showed you the first couple shots i think you like you couldn't believe it oh my god because yeah. i remember oh on text like you were like so shocked and then John Art Palco. Yeah. Uh, he did the storyboarding. I, sh I showed him the rest of it. And he he was like, what the hell did he make? Like, yeah. is this real? And I was like, it is real. So cool. So, like, I can't wait to see your version of this Peter Parker. Oh, yeah. Because it's a very horrific tale of yeah. somebody who's been, you know, turned into a zombie. Yeah. And it's a whole redemption arc that I think Marvel really missed the opportunity on. And it's just going to be great to see us finally fulfill this and really give that like perfect Peter Parker ending, your Peter Parker ending. Yeah. And the way that we're going to do this, I I can't wait to show what we're going to do. I might put a teaser out tonight. Who, oh, who yeah. knows? Oh, yeah. Awesome. And I think, um, like you said, I think, I think the coolest thing about about this channel and just working on this is like, we're able to we're able to take these stories that we love so much and create like our own unique twist on it and and and, and it's such a like you said to to come into the role um, was such an interesting task for me especially because I grew up loving Spider-Man and and I still love him to this day he's always been my favorite superhero so 
when I originally got um when I originally got the part, I was so I was so I wouldn't say nervous, but I was very excited to to come in and be like, how can I take this character and really make him my own and really inject my own kind of acting into it. And that's something that's really carried into live action as well, because um, being in the suit and really being on set and learning how to how to do the physicality of it while maintaining your kind of voice was something that it was just a really unique challenge um, that I was super excited to take on. So, yeah, I think I think that this and especially in 2000 and this and Tobey Maguire, all of them there. It's really interesting to take that Peter Parker and really place him in events that he hasn't really been in before. Um, so it's been a really awesome opportunity to do that. And I can't wait to see what you guys think of it. Yeah. And, you know, going back on that, like when you had, like, I think you had emailed me because right. I was talking before about like, Oh, like I might do some of these projects and like these things might happen. I didn't really have the person like to fit the role of Peter Parker because yeah. like at the time I was like a big Spider-Man channel. Like I was just doing Spider-Man. Like it wasn't like, um, like I wasn't doing anything else than that. Yeah. And so at the time I was like, I really want this to be like what I also interpreted. So when I heard your audition tapes, I was like, this guy sounds like, like Toby, but it's like, his own take on it like it's not just toby but it's just like your own version of the character i can relate most to like when i hear spider-man like i hear sean it's kind of weird like you know reading comic books and then it's just like like i feel like your voice is like the most that i can kind of like go to like i kind of gravitate towards that so when sean sent me the audition tapes it's like immediately this guy has the job like wow. it was just like there was no second thought like it was just like he had the job oh, thank and you. i think i emailed you that too <laughs> yeah i i yeah <laughs> i remember i remember i i had followed the channel for for such a long time i was such a big fan and i and when you when you put out the the teasers for some of those projects i was immediately like okay how can i how can i get in on that so i remember yeah i emailed you and then you were like okay yeah look at these and i i remember i did what was it? I, I did the the Ultimate Spider Man. I did from the comic run where he where he dies, and then I did um, yeah. And then I did Civil War, and then I did a few others. Um, but I remember I was so nervous uh, sending it in. I remember I was I was actually at the beach and I was playing volleyball with yeah, my friends. That was funny. Yeah, I was I was I was at oh, the beach man. playing volleyball with my friends, and I got I went and checked my phone. I was checking like every twenty minutes, and then I. And then I um, saw your email, and I remember my friends will tell you I like screamed, like I was like, oh, like you know, oh my god, you know, my friends were like, what? And I was like, I got the job, like you know, and it was like this really cool thing. But you know, to to hear you say that and be like, that's your your voice is so incredibly humbling to me. I really, I really, really appreciate it. Um, it's such a such a amazing character with so much depth. When you look at the years and years of stories and years and years of, of movies that we had that we've had of him there's been so many interpretations and there's been so many um really iconic uh images and um and voices uh to him like you you look at uh everybody from christopher daniel barnes to josh keaton to um then you got toby and andrew and tom and so many others that i'm sure i'm forgetting um oh those, there's like yeah. way too many there's, there's so there's, <laughs> there's so many oh there's so many and then it's like everybody has their favorite and everybody has theirs that like they, they gravitate to so it was so fun to really just make it my own but um and but still try to emulate in a way some of my favorite versions of the character that i've that i've grown up um watching and and reading so yeah to, to hear you say that is just such a such an honor so thank you yeah like like it's just the reason I don't even know like how it happened, but like when I heard like the take, I was like, okay, like this is like this is Spider Man. Like we we need this guy on the channel, and so we we started talking about like okay, like what are we gonna do in the future? And so I had mentioned some of these projects, but like they really have been in development for a long time. Like it didn't hit the ground yet. And I don't know, like, did you ever think that some of them, like, were 
we're not going to come out because I know that it's been it's been well over a year since we've uh, been doing this. Well, I knew they were going to come out. Um, the thing was that I I recorded the the Toby the Toby ones maybe like yeah like a year ago. And I remember uh, me and Max had uh, really been in contact uh, back and forth. Pretty much it was like every week we would always be – he would be sending me new art for zombies and we would be just talking and discussing our love of the character. We just – you know, and so um, – but we had we had some time where um, I was I was just like, okay, it comes out when it comes out. And then, and then it dropped and then Toby dropped and I was like, oh my gosh this is so cool, you know, like, and, and I, like I said, going to the comment section and seeing that was just so, so humbling and so awesome. And I sent it to my friends and they listened and they were like, wow, that's amazing. So it's going to be interesting. I think, um, when we go into, uh, recording two thousands and when we, and when you see, when, when you see how I am different, um, in zombies and in 2000, it, I've had a year of, of just growing as an actor and um and really harnessing um harnessing those traits so it's going to be interesting to see the jump between um between doing the from doing toby Maguire to doing avengers 2000 and doing zombies because um i feel like all of i've grown as an actor and i've grown as a performer so it's going to be interesting to to see how it differentiates uh in the project so it's going to be really fun i'm really looking forward to it yeah, and that's something that I'm really excited to see too is how you're going to make this your own Spider-Man in Avengers 2000 because the story is is very different than I would say a Marvel comic story since totally, totally. this is like the whole like 2000s I would say like universe where you have all these movies and then connecting everything yeah, and putting it out like this whole like, I I would say like cataclysm sort of storyline yeah. where you have like God Doom totally and 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 Spider Man like how how does Spider Man go up against God Doom like that is yeah something you're going to see in this uh, audio drama audio dramas are phenomenal they're fascinating and yeah to see your performance grow and how you're going to perform, you know, when Spider-Man is fighting God doom, that's something that I cannot wait to see. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to, 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 to you guys seeing how Spidey interacts with some of the other heroes. I remember when Max originally reached out to me for this project, when you originally reached out to me, Max, um, about Avengers 2000, because I remember I recorded Toby and you were like, this was like right before, Avengers 2000 was even a thing. You hadn't even released the the thing yet, and you were like, "Hey, I'm planning this this Avengers 2000s project," and I was like, "Wow, that sounds like it's gonna be so interesting." And I, yeah, yeah, I remember I talked to you about that. Yeah, you originally pitched it to me, and I was like, and I was like, "Man, that sounds so rad!" And and it was just like this coolest thing because I was like, I was I always wondered about that, like how would these characters interact with each other, and it's going to be really interesting. When I read the script, I, I, I loved it because it, it was just so interesting how you see these characters interact and how Spidey interacts with, with the various characters that are in it. It's so interesting and it's fresh and it's, and it's something that it's, it's possible that we could see happen in, um, in live action now that we have the multiverse and uh, Dr. Strange and all these crazy things, you know, but it's really cool that we're going to be that we're going to be taking the forefront with this kind of possibility of multiversal conflict. Um, it's so it's so exciting and it's so and it's so refreshing um, to to see that it's something that hasn't been done before. I don't think. No, yeah, it's like entirely it's, new. It's going to be so cool. And like going back to that, like when Avengers two thousand, I I didn't ever thought that it would even go to the point where this would turn into an audio drama right. because I was like, this is too big of a project and concept to get into audio drama. So when I wrote, like I wrote the script and had it out, I was like, wow, like this actually works as an audio drama. Like it, like I was shocked to, to read it. And then I had got some other voice actors yeah. to do some lines like I got, I, I will spoil something. Like yeah. I had uh, Johnny. I, I forget his last name. I apologize because I I'm not good with that stuff. But Johnny had did 
the Incredible Hulk, right. and he made it sound like Lou Ferrigno. Yeah, totally, totally. And, you know, going into this, it's kind of like a mix between, you know, the 2003 one, but also the 90s one. Right, and it's exactly. like, wow, like this is... I can't wait to see the interaction between you and him. Yeah, and and, and mixing that—that's gonna be cool. That's actually—I feel like my one of my favorite parts of the script is is how Spider-Man and Hulk interact. They have some great stuff. There's a lot of there's a lot of meat there um, that is that is so fun to dive into as an actor. Um, I, li- I like to call like whenever whenever there's like a really great character like in a relationship i like to say there's like meat and potatoes to it you know what i mean like kind of like a hearty <laughs> kind of meal it's like a weird like like, like a dinner or something right yeah there's so much to dig into as an actor um when you get a script like that and it, it's so much like that with with all of the characters the way that the way that spider-man interacts with them on the grounds of morality and then like things like that it's super it's super interesting to see where he fits into this giant piece of the puzzle especially on a cosmic scale like um like doom um it's super it's super fun to see how your friendly neighborhood spider-man really like this like everyday guy really fits into really fits into this cosmic scale and that was one of my favorite parts about uh infinity war and one of my favorite parts about endgame that i really wish they kind of highlighted a little bit more was how this kid really was feeling about about joining in like this massive conflict and and they and they talk about that a little bit in the movie where peter goes like oh you can't be a friendly neighborhood spider-man if there's no neighborhood like that's such an oh yeah it's such an interesting interesting thing to think about how this how this kid who just wants to do the right thing gets thrust into these massive conflicts but through it all he's still this he's still peter parker he's still like this kid and he still wants to help as much as he can and that's the most fascinating thing about just about Peter Parker in general. That's why that's why so many love him, just his willpower and that he doesn't give up no matter how bad everything feels or the chips are down. Guy continues to push forward and that's the best thing about it. And that's what I really tried to do with this Avengers 2000 audio drama is yeah. that I wanted him like in a way he kind of feels like okay, like what power does he have against right. God Doom? Cuz God Doom is like a he, like he's a, Thanos, a mammoth when yeah, it comes to... Yeah, he's like a Thanos Galactus yeah. level villain. So, like, when you have Spider-Man, it's like, what is he really going to do? Right, yeah. But in but in this, he really shows himself and, you know, volunteering to be an Avenger. Right, yeah. And, and, and helping Nick Fury. It, it, like, it's just the way that his morals are. Like, right. even though he's, he doesn't have anything to really do with god doom like he how how is he going to go up right he yeah. still puts his life on the line yeah and, and that's something that i really wanted to show uh within that script and even with uh marvel zombies revenge oh, yeah, totally. like that is a totally different one but marvel zombies revenge is a very horrific story yeah. and i think peter parker's morals are going to be very tested right. i would say for that particular story and, yeah and and thinking about how peter in especially in marvel zombies which has you know zombies and things like that and like kind of the, these like images that are crazy you know it's like a character with these iron like with these iron bound morals you know like this like this really strong moral code how he interacts with with characters that maybe have lost their way or aren't as strong as he is morally it's really interesting to put him in that scenario because he'll always try to help people no matter no matter what so putting that kind of character in these in many ways like horrific situations like max was saying it was super interesting to play with that and to see how how spider-man would really would really react to that on an emotional level really interesting stuff yeah and i think with you know marvel zombies revenge if you look at um the previous books yeah. that marvel had done like marvel zombies returns right yeah he he did tip over like he tipped over and he literally ate the sinister six which was very horrific crazy stuff yeah but but in the storyline he kind of takes a different turn like although he should help 
Right. He decides that the best moral decision is not to intervene, and that is a really scary and difficult choice for Peter Parker. Uh, I, I, I would yeah. say. I think it's the way that they did the Marvel Zombies comic was really interesting. Um, I, I I thought it was a very interesting decision for them to not be like they've lost consciousness. You know, like there's moments where there's like yeah. real regret after they have after they have like succumbed to their zombie like feeding frenzies but then afterwards they regain their human consciousness and they're like oh my god like what have we done like it's so (laughs) it's so interesting and they're doing a they're doing the marvel zombies disney plus show um like i can't wait to see that yeah i i'm i'm wondering how how that's gonna how that's gonna work because even in the what if episode it went pretty crazy with how with how they were doing things so I, I i'm interested to see how how much of the book they're gonna do and then how much of how much of just like their own their own thing they're gonna do because like they travel the multiverse in the books like right like they they like hop from yeah they do dimension. yeah it's super interesting um crazy stuff they go to like world war hulk's uh like storyline and then like giant man oh wow interferes yeah. and there's yeah there was like a whole thing there with like that and then they went to uh i think they ended up going to where the like the scrolls lived and like they decimated that entire planet oh man that kind of leads it was me like yeah. a, that kind of leads me to a question i was like what is your like favorite spider-man arc do you have like a favorite comic arc or anything like a storyline or anything like that I think my favorite arc, hmm, that like that is a very hard question to answer. I I would say, but my favorite arc would have to be when Gwen Stacy, Gwen Stacy died. died. Yeah, really, like, really in the comics. Stuff. That oh, that was a very that was when like the Silver Age was like huge. Yeah, I, yeah, in, in comic books. And and I and I'll say this about Web because that's something that we've already talked about, and it's something that's already been already been um revealed about the show is the show centers around gwen's death um and how and how peter interacts with the world around him afterwards because that was something that really interested me was to take peter parker who is this really really strong-willed character like we said and put him at his lowest point and then see what kind of story we can tell with a peter who is broken and has lost a lot of a lot of his stuff but the show isn't just about peter himself there's so many other characters that have their own fleshed out arcs and originally it was going to be a movie but then as i was going into it i was like man this i think we really need to elongate this into a series to give to give everyone their own do their own do arcs so harry has his own unique arc Mary Jane has okay, their own that's unique gonna be arc. Cool. Yeah, and that was something that I really was interested in doing was that how would these characters, these characters like Harry and MJ and and all these people, they're they're there in the story. They they have their own unique stake in the plot, and Peter does his own thing. But then we spend a lot of alone time with all the other characters, and we really get their own kind of story on becoming whole again after Gwen's death. So. The story is really interesting in the way that it the way that it works is um we have it so the series as it progresses we have two distinct timelines going on. We have we have while um we're showing it in in the in the past while Gwen's alive as the series progresses we're getting closer and closer to Gwen's death but as the, as but as the past is like moving forward to Gwen's death in the present while we're there we're moving farther and farther away from Gwen's death so we have this kind of like parallel going on that's really interesting so we see how like this unique juxtaposition to how the characters were and how they are now so it's really interesting to see them on their own unique journeys and I think that the audience will really come to love these characters and really and really see themselves in them and it's like a story about willpower and overcoming like, impossible odds and and not not having to be alone in facing conflict and triumphing over it and it's so and it's so interesting and it's just so fun and I can't wait for you guys to to see it because there's a little something for everyone and we pay tribute to I want to say every single era of the Spider-Man mythos there's there's 
stuff from the 60s the 70s the 80s the 90s and even into modern day there's something for everyone who is a fan to 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 love and enjoy and it's all wrapped up with a with a little spider-man bow on top <laughs> it's 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 awesome that's sick like it it sounds like a cause and effect story it is like that's what it, like with the parallel and that that's very difficult to write and do yeah it, it, you know i can't like, i i can't give you enough props for that like yeah. that's a big challenge i'm i'm super hyped now because i i didn't know that there was gonna be like multiple character stories oh yeah like, there's so it, much like in depth there's so much that's gonna be cool yeah and that's, it, that's yeah. sick and and it's and it's cool because i have a great team uh behind me as well like my co-writer and uh co-director my buddy tyler super awesome guy and we sat down for a really long time i originally pitched him the idea and he was like yes let's do it and so we sat down for a really long time and just talked through what these characters were going to do and what they were going to say and how they were going to interact and every character has their own like moments every character has their own um lowest lows and highest highs and it's all of their like this is what i like to say a lot this all of their stories kind of weave together into a web and that's why i wanted to call it web of spider-man was because oh, yeah that's, it, that's it. yeah it's why i wanted to call it that because it was it was um it, it wasn't just about peter it wasn't just his story but it was also it was also everyone's story and it all weaves together into this massive web like the web of spider-man because the web all ties back to spider-man so it's really interesting that at the center of the web and the center of this conflict it's it's spider-man and his actions and it's and it's such a cool thing and i can't wait for you guys to see it i can't wait for you guys to see all the awesome projects that me and max have cooking up for you and speaking of that uh i wanted to reveal something that i am also doing that i haven't told you sean oh. i don't think i've told anybody uh -oh. <laughs> i'm nervous and uh that is Right now, I am almost finished with the audio drama sequel to Avengers 2000, like the actual sequel oh, with wow. Kang the Conqueror. Yeah, and, and also, um, I'm working on two other audio dramas, That's amazing. and that is What If Spider-Man Had Kept the Symbiote in Spider-Man 3? That's turning into an audio drama. Wow. And What If Green Goblin Killed Spider-Man? That is, is going to uh, be so yeah. cool. Wow. And yeah, like uh, the reason audio drama content, I couldn't get it out fast enough and produce it. It was very difficult to do, totally. but after getting this first one out and I was talking, I, I was talking to you earlier, Sean, yeah. about that I was going to be hiring a mixer yeah. to get all this out. So the first uh, audio drama that we did, I actually edited that. I mixed the whole thing. It took a long time. Yeah. That, was, that was crazy, but Second time around, this guy, I, I would say he's way better than me. Oh, okay. Like This guy is just insane when it comes to audio editing. He's done podcast editing. So getting him on board, like I had talked to him and I was like, okay, like I want to do audio drama content because there's these stories that should be told in a different perspective totally, that totally. would really entertain a lot of people. Yeah, like, and I was like, I got to somehow do this in a different point of view and so when he was talking to me he was like you know i can get this out to you within a week without it being like a downgraded quality drop and i was like yeah right like there's no way and he proved it to me like he showed me some of his work wow yeah so i was like what the hell it's gonna be great so yeah we're gonna have we're gonna have a lot more audio dramas coming yeah coming out it's, and, and it's gonna be great it's gonna be great for um for everyone just because everyone that uh, looking at the comments has been has been so has been so supportive of it like they love him they want to see him they want to see him keep coming which is which is great you know and there's so much opportunity for the stories that you can tell through audio and and it's been such a cool thing to have him on spotify too like i've been i i listened yeah that's so sick yeah like i listened i listened originally i listened to the toby one in the car like i was driving and I was listening to oh, it. Shit. Yeah, and I was like, I listened to it in the car, and I was and I was driving, and I was listening to it, and I was like, man, this is where it's at, you know, because they they do that now with DC, like they're doing like the um, like the Batman the Batman episodes on DC through like podcasts and things like that. So like 
I feel like there is such a you, th this is such a unique medium, like these these audio dramas and these stories, and it's gonna be super cool to see where that goes because this is something that's like never been done before with fan with fan made projects. Like it's so interesting um, to have it on here in this medium. So I'm really excited to see what you guys think of these upcoming projects, and I'm just excited to be along for the ride. Playing Spider Man is an absolute dream. Yeah, so I hope that you guys go check out Sean's uh, Instagram. I I would highly recommend you check out. Do you do you have a you do you still have a YouTube channel? Because I swear I'm subscribed. Um yeah, so I, I have a you... I have a personal YouTube channel. It's just my name, Sean Denninger. You can look that up. Um, and then our Instagram, uh, for the series. If you guys can be up to date on that, we're gonna be creating a YouTube channel for that. But we are operating out of Instagram right now. So um, it's web of spider-man series underscore um so if you guys want to look that up that's awesome we're launching our indiegogo campaign uh really really soon so oh. we're gonna be we're gonna be open make that sure up. to check it out yeah so check it out there's gonna be awesome perks there's gonna be great stuff and uh we've got some uh, we've got some big surprises coming uh, in the next couple weeks uh for the series so if you guys want to be up to date on that uh, please follow me there. Follow my personal follow Web of Spider-Man series underscore on Instagram. And um, be sure to tune in when these uh, new audio dramas drop on Max's channel. It's going to be brilliant. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. We're going to be breaking into a new niche yes. with these audio dramas. And hopefully we can get them out a lot faster. Absolutely. I do want to apologize for not having them out quicker when they were announced. No, but absolutely not. It, they, they do take some time yeah and you know we don't want to half-ass any of these projects absolutely and and, and so far with the responses it, it only makes sense to continue right and that's why i'm announcing these ones so yeah i'm hyped sean uh, it's glad to have you on the channel absolutely it was a great discussion so make sure to check out sean's uh instagram go check out web of spider-man i would highly Highly recommend it. I'm going to do a community post where you guys can check out all of those links uh, as well. Yeah. So it's something that uh, I think is going to be very cool once it's released. Yeah. But anyways, uh, any last words before we uh, we end it here? Well, um, this has just been awesome. I can't wait for you guys to, to see what we've got cooking. The future is very bright. Um, I'm really excited to see what you guys think of that and Web of Spider-Man. Um, so yeah, super honored to be here. Super honored to be playing Spider-Man for Max and it's just going to be brilliant. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Sweet. So everyone, Sean, he'll be in the next upcoming Avengers 2000 audio drama. Check it out on the channel and check it out on Spotify. If you guys haven't already followed Spotify, but anyways, as always take care and have a great day. Bye guys.